Today I'm going to be showing you how to cut a tree safely with a machete. Keep watching, I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm coming out here today to cut down a tree. I have a certain tree I have to take down. Anyway, so be but before I take down the tree, I need to show you, uh, talk about some safety things and use the machete to cut down a tree. First thing is, got to wear a pair of gloves. This has to be done with a pair of gloves. You don't want to get blisters, blood blisters on your hands. Secondly, make sure that nobody stands behind you, okay, when you're cutting with a machete. Here and there, I'll be cutting with a machete, and the, when I go, when I cut, sometimes I'll bring it back and the machete will fling out of my hands, and that can lead to a really bad accident. Okay, third, make sure you're wearing some, at least sneakers or boots or something like that. Don't wear sandals, flip-flops, or, or, or just go barefoot. I think I've cut trees barefoot before and it didn't you know it's just not I, luckily I didn't hurt myself but it can end out bad if you understand what I mean you hit your you hit your hit your foot it's not going to be pretty so those are the kind of the safety measures you need to take I have one more safety measure so I'm going to show you that and then I'll we'll get into cutting the tree now here you are here we are that this is the tree we want to cut down that big one right here and I don't know if you can see I put a rope up there and okay I, cl I had to climb the tree now that's just i need mean, that's something else i have to talk about in a minute but anyways okay so now this tree what you want to do is before you cut the tree down or start cutting it down you kind of want to figure out which way it's going to fall okay and i've just i've determined it's going to fall this way okay the way the rope is going now okay so reason why it's going to fall that way is because you can see this branch right here tees off it's a lot heavier on this way on this side than it is on that side so it's going to fall that way okay just keep that in mind that's one way to determine which way it's going to fall so if there's a if there's a position you really don't want to fall in you can kind of look up straight and figure out where the heavier branches are to figure out which way it's going to fall okay now for the rope what is that for well the rope is to make it so much easier for cutting the tree down so what we're going to do is we cut it maybe about 75 percent of the way and then we can use this to pull it over now this is way too close i mean this tree is huge so it's just going to come crashing down on you that's why you need a really long rope brought it all the way out here get a really long rope preferably you want the rope to be long longer longer than the height of the tree so this is a little bit not quite i would rather it to be a little bit longer but it's close okay so basically we'll get out here and pull it and we'll just pull it down after I've chopped at it a good bit. Now obviously you don't have to use the rope. It makes it a whole lot easier though if you just climb the tree, tie up the rope, and then pull it down. The reason is because it, you can cut it maybe 75% of the way through maybe and, and then just pull it over and it'll come straight down. If you don't use the rope then you have to, you, you don't get to choose exactly where it, the, the tree will go so you can pull it your way and then it will just come crashing down the straight you know straight towards where you're pulling it from but it may not it may kind of go to another angle another direction and land on and hit something that you don't want it to hit so i recommend using the rope if you can't that's okay but yeah that's basically that with the rope now let's get into cutting the tree okay so now here's what we're gonna do first i'm gonna clear all, all this right, like that and Really, it's not, this isn't the ideal tree because there's stuff behind it, there's trees behind it. But if it was more open, then you could go all the way around it. It's easier to cut the tree when it, when you can get all the way around it. You can cut a little bit here, cut a little bit here, cut a little bit here, and cut a little bit behind it. And it just gives it, it's easier to cut the tree. Anyways, and there's some um, pita hyo plant right here. Anyways, we have a little pita hyo right here. But anyways, we're going to cut like this, okay? So when you cut down... And then, ooh, I got some that whatever juice it was, and then cut up. So, like, what sometimes I'll do is I'll cut like this, and then I'll cut, bring it up to get chunks out. Okay, so you cut down, just like that, and then cut up. This will get maximize the quickness of this. I'm not cutting at a very good angle right now. I'm kind of a left-handed person, so I have a hard time cutting at this angle. So, anyways, I'm going to set you up, and I'm going to knock down this tree, okay?
But there you have it. That's pretty much cutting the tree down with a machete safely somewhat. Definitely use the rope. Also, another thing I think you should keep in mind, maybe consider using if you have any glasses. Because here and there, I uh, have pieces of wood when I'm chopping, chop up in, in my eye. So it's best to wear thin glasses if you have them. I noticed that cutting down the street. So anyways, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below and let me know what you thought about this video. And I'll see you next time at Grand Homestead.